Hello everyone, this is ASM Arif. Today, welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial. Today, I'll show you how to edit photo and uh, the portrait photo of a girl. And I'm using the stock image. Uh, I'll give you the stock image link in my video description. Don't forget to check it out. The my video description. And you'll get the download link. And you can try it your own. And don't forget to give it uh, how your output is. Uh, will be okay let's start and i'll make a copy of this layer by pressing ctrl j and then go to the filter and camera raw filter and uh, okay then at first i'll go to the camera calibration and then just make it like that and increase the saturation and after that i'll go to the temperature I'll just make it cool and decrease the exposure increase the contrast and then I'll reduce the highlight increase the shadow white I will reduce and keep just reduce the blacks give some clarity and after that I'll give the vibrance and saturation and then I'll go to the amount of sharpness and reduce some add some detail and add some luminance okay after that i'll go to the gray color hsl the hue saturation and i'll increase the orange luminance and saturation of orange also increase the saturation of blue and give some yellow color add some red luminance and saturation also okay I'll reduce the highlight okay after that i'll hit the ok button and i already added the cinematic tone in this photo okay and the light is coming from the left side and for that I'll take a blank layer and go to the file and go to the place embedded I'll add a extra light I have some light options I have downloaded from the internet I'll give you the light download link and just press the tick button press the control T and just do like that and increase this one okay and after that make it the skin but you know that here is some border that's why i have to make it the restylized layer and go into the filter then the blur and after that gaussian blur make it a little bit okay that's good and hit okay and after that i'll go to the adjustment layer and color lookup and add the horror blue color and reduce the opacity I'll give only 14% opacity of this one and select all the layers and making group and making it merge by pressing ctrl shift alter E and after that I'm go to the filter and Google Nick collection the color effects pro from the color effects pro filter I'll choose some filters and uh, I'll apply and I'll do experiment actually okay it's loading um, it's taking time always for the huge size of these plugins if you want to add these plugins in your Photoshop please do the, the update of your PC configuration okay here is some colors and the filters I think this one is good the can hit ok and I'm using the color cross processing filters and here is uh, lots of filters and I'm using the B02 hit the ok button you'll get the huge difference um, between the previous one the present one image okay let's see let's load it okay and this one is our the raw image and after that this one is good and 
this one is totally cinematic effect uh, portrait and uh, here is some adjustment with the lights and uh, the colors the depth of field all the things okay after that i'm going to going to just take a, mm, a blank layer and after that i'm going to the brush tools i'll add some brush which is a smoke brush like that uh, not actually like that uh, i have to find out the uh, cloud actually the smoke brushes mm. okay let's see where is my smoke brushes okay mm. okay i can use it making just making it bigger by pressing the third bracket closing and just give some okay it will take time that's good and i'll just move this one and just make the opacity down why i have get this type of mm, the foggy effect just because of uh, when uh, someone just did, sit it down in a in the, uh, the restaurant and uh, sometimes uh, you can get this type of looks from here and you can just give it strong also that's good okay that means someone is cooking uh, in front of you and you are looking that shape and <laughs> Uh, some smoke come over there okay uh, that's good and after that i'll go to the gradient map and select the orange and magenta options i'll violet and orange options and i'll change it to the cyan and hit the ok button and make it the soft light and I'll reduce the fill and give it the 15% and my image is ready and making it group and making it merge after that I'll just make a copy of this image layer by pressing ctrl J and I'll make it the vivid light and go to the filter and other than the high pass high pass is for the sharpness increasing tools uh, if you want to increase the sharpness of your image the, you can use it but don't use it too much otherwise it will be pixel light okay okay that's good making another group and merging it okay let's see what was our previous image and the present image this one is our previous image uh, that is too much um, uh, dull or uh, um, I'll tell it uh, the raw image actually and this one is the cinematic applying effect in your photo and it's look like um, the really dramatic okay thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial and if you want to get this type of amazing tutorial in the future don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon of my channel and don't forget to share with your friend if you have any kind of question any kind of query please do comment on my video description or video comment section and you can follow me in the instagram facebook or twitter thank you so much till the next video i am asm arif signing out and bye bye